Full Deck Podcast. What's up, world? It's the Full Deck Podcast. I am your host, Antonio Lamar. And coming to you today, we had a little boxing news yesterday. Your boy Terrence Crawford called out Danny Swift Garcia on Twitter. And, uh, man, that would be a great fight if they can make it. Uh, Hopefully, Bob and Al can get together once again like they did for the Pacquiao Mayweather and make something happen, man. I'm pretty sure it'd be in New York since uh, Danny up there with Philly and uh, the Barclays Center, man, been doing real good. They can have it in Madison Square. It don't really matter. They just need to make that fight happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a damn good fight. I would probably lean towards Crawford just because I really love boxers, man. I really love slick boxers, man. They usually get the job done when they fighting. But I mean, not to say that Danny Swift is not a boxer either, but he does have boxing skills, you know. He, I think he showed some things against Robert Guerrero. We know he put them hands on Matisse, but... I, yeah, man. I think Danny's pretty good, too. But I think Crawford's just a little better. Thanks to, like, the Boxing Voice. I saw the interview. Uh, shout out to the Boxing Voice. I saw the interview that they had with Danny and how he was talking about they fought before twice in the amateurs at one and one. He felt like he won both. <laughs> sure, Crawford felt the same way. But, um, Let's get into what they said. Okay. So yesterday, Terrence Crawford tweeted. Well, first of all, uh, Danny's pops, you know, he he, they, he was doing an interview or something. And they basically asked him about the post all and Crawford fight. And he was talking about, uh, I guess he didn't even want to watch that crap or whatever. And calling uh, Bud Crawford a paper champion, basically. So Terrence Crawford tweeted at Danny Swift. Your dad said I'm a made-up champion for beating the guy y'all was scared to fight. (laughs) Then he got the laughing emoji with crying tears. Then he said, at Danny Swift. So I tell you what, tell your dad to make the fight, and I'll show you how much of a paper champ I am at your weight and for your belt. And you might as well should have said chump at the end of it. (laughs) But, uh, you know, Crawford's a real laid-back dude usually. So he don't really talk noise. So this is actually, I think it's pretty good to see him calling somebody out on Twitter. Uh, man, we just, he need to get a bigger fan base because he's a hell of a fighter. So, uh, hey man, any way to get them looks, man, he need to keep it up. But anyway, my boy Danny Swift responded. He said, at Bud Crawford 402, you doing what I did three years ago. I ain't no little Gamboa or no stiff post star. I end careers. Check my track record. And he should have said, homie. <laughs> but, uh, so after Danny said that, Crawford fires back and says, that same stiff guy y'all paid so you didn't have to fight? That guy? Look, I'm not them old guys you've been fighting. You know that. Okay, you know. And then Danny Swift says, your fight did 50,000 buys. <laughs> Laugh out loud. If you want to do real numbers and get defeated, tell Bob to call Al. Then Crawford ended the exchange by simply replying, no problem. So, hopefully they can get a venue, which I said, that shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully they can make it happen. I know it'll probably be a while before it actually happens because I know how Unfortunately, how these things go in boxing, stuff don't doesn't just happen when you want it to happen, although it should sometimes. But I kind of don't mind them building it up for a little bit, man. I give them a year, man. Anything past a year, I'm going to be very disappointed. So they both can take a fight or something in between, a fight or two. But, man, make that happen, man. Bob Aram, Al Heyman. Come on, man. Put your egos to the side. Put your pride to the side. Make another fight happen. 
But I also want to say, when it comes to, like, the contract and stuff, uh, Danny Garcia would be the A-side, in my opinion, because, I mean, he has fought more big names, I should say, uh, more than Crawford. But, uh, you know, Crawford just now really coming up in this thing. But I don't think the money should be far off. I, I think it could be even, but, you know, I would. I mean, if Danny get more, whatever, that's fine. But I don't think it should be too far off. And, you know, I think it would do good for boxing because the hardcore fans that really like Crawford's style and know how great he's probably going to be one day, I think they could uh, really – love their fight and I think the casual fans would really love to see Danny in there with somebody that hardcore boxing fans really love because I do think Danny has a you know he he attracts more people right now than uh, Crawford so but man great fight hopefully they can make it happen I don't know if it will or not but hopefully it will so peace Full Deck Podcast.